Hi everyone, just wanted to do a very short, quick video on concealing techniques. Um, a lot of girls like myself as well, I have dark eye circles, I also have slight puffiness under my eyes and um, sunken eyes a bit. I'm not too sure if that's because I don't get enough sleep or I'm tired or it's just hereditary. But um, I've had it for a long time and I've always you know, been trying to figure out what's the best way to conceal it because Concealing the under eye area really is important uh, because it really brightens up the face. It makes you look more alert, it makes you look more fresh, it makes you look awake. Um, and sometimes I don't even use foundation, I just do concealing and that's enough. So I just want to do a very quick video um, showing you how I normally do my everyday concealing. And I like to keep it very simple, I don't want to use too many products, um, just a few important products um, and I'll tell you what they are and how you could get the same effect as well. Alright, so I've just removed my concealer under my right eye. As you can see, it's slightly red now because I've just wiped off the concealing. Um, you can also see the darkness under this eye. You can also see the puffiness and the sunken area. Like You see like a slight C forming. Um, so this is what I deal with basically every day. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I do to conceal uh, my under eye area. So first things first, um, if you have dry skin also, make sure you use a hydrating um, serum for the under eye area to make sure that it's well hydrated before you start applying your product. Okay, so this is my go-to palette from MAC. It's the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium Deep, uh, yeah, Medium Deep by MAC. So I really like this one in particular because it has the corrector shade, it also has a few concealer shades that I like to mix and match to get the perfect shade. Um, you can also get your concealer and your corrector separately, uh, that, that's fine too, but this, is real, this just works for me because you know, it's easy, it's in one palette, I just take it with me when I go traveling and it's super, it's super easy. So this is in medium deep and this is the shade that best suits my skin. So this is the corrector shade that I'm talking about. Um, corrector shade. So let's just talk a bit about correcting before we do concealing. So correcting is important. Why? Oftentimes when you do concealing, you might find that the under eye area appears to be a bit more grayish, not really bright, not like your skin color. And the reason is because we do concealing without correcting the darkness. We just apply the concealer shade without actually eliminating that darkness that's underneath that and that's why it appears a bit more grayish and it doesn't really conceal. In fact, the panda eye effect, as they call it, appears a bit more pronounced. So, concealer sh con sorry, con corrector shades are usually salmon, orangey. Um, the shades are more towards pinkish, orange tones, salmon tones. And what that does is the, the redness or the orangeness in that corrector helps get rid of the darkness that we have under the eye. So once you've done that, and then you go ahead and apply the concealer over it to really get like a nice skin tone um, going underneath your eye area. And I, I usually mix two concealing shades, one that is closer to my skin tone and one that's a bit lighter because I like the under eye area to be a bit more bright. That really helps brighten and highlight the under eye area, which is really nice. So yeah, let's start. So I'm gonna use this shade first, which is the corrector shade, right? So that's the orange, um, the orange shade in this palette. And I'm going to use this one, which is the 287 MAC Concealer Brush. It's really good, it's really soft. The, the bristles are really soft and nice, which is perfect for the under eye area as well. And I basically use this for the corrector shade and the concealer shade. So I'm just gonna apply this where I see the darkness. You don't have to apply too much because this shade is pretty strong and you don't want to go too heavy with the corrector shade. So just apply, just keep patting like in this sort of a patting motion. Don't rub because you're actually going to be removing product. So to get the most of your product on your brush, just take a bit and go ahead and just pat it on the areas that are where you see the darkness. So I'm going to take a bit more. So happy with that. Now what I always do with uh, my concealing is that I take this brush. You can use a beauty blender. I just use this blending 
um, sponge by MAC, it's from MAC. And I always go over the product that I've applied. I just sort of like to blend it all out and make sure that it's really pressed into the skin. This really helps with uh, making sure that wrinkles, you know, like fine lines don't show. The product is really absorbed. And you also remove any excess product that you don't necessarily want there. You don't want to build up too much product. So this helps with that. So I'm just going to, and it helps really blend out the product as well. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. So now the darkness is gone, it looks just sort of orangey. Okay, so I'm going to now use this shade, which is the shade that is closest to my skin tone. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to do the inverted triangle, which is the best way to conceal the under eye area. So you basically just draw an inverted triangle. So you Draw a straight line this way, cross your eye, and then you just connect that. And you just fill up that area with your concealer. Make sure that the corrector shade that you have applied below can't, doesn't show because you don't want to have orange looking, uh, an orange looking under eye. So, going to blend that out again. Right. Yeah. Just a bit more. Okay. And then what I do is I go with a shade that's lighter than my skin tone, which is this one right there. I like to mix it with the lighter shade because I find that it really helps highlight the area. I'm not going to necessarily do the inverted triangle all over again. I'm just going to fill in where I feel um, I need to put a bit more concealer. Right. I'm going to pat that again. This patting um, blending technique, like through each, after you do each um, concealer basically, really helps because it helps with making sure that the product is evened out, it's blended smoothly and it, it just looks nicer, it looks more flawless, the, the finish that you get is more flawless. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that, but there's just one more um, thing that I want to bring to your attention, which I really have an issue with as well. If you realize, I have this C, like this C that forms underneath my eyes, like a sunken area, and quite a number of people have that. And it's quite annoying because, you know, like it's visible when you see me, it's visible in photos, and I really don't like it. So I've tried a lot of um, things to get rid of it. I've tried using eyes, you know, and stuff like that, but it's still there. So I found something that helps quite a bit with that. And what I do is I take that lighter shade again, right? You want to take the lighter shade, not the shade that is the one that's closest to your skin tone, right? You want to take the lighter shade because the lighter shade highlights the area and you want to make sure that you're using a lighter shade. So just take a shade that's slightly lighter and what you do is you just sort of pat that on that line where you see the C. Just pat it there. And you do this until you sort of slowly see. I'm not too sure if you can see this, but you can slowly see that line disappearing. Right, and I'm just going to pat that again. Yeah, so it's like much less visible now. And this helps to get rid of that um, sunkenness, sort of. Alright, so I'm just going to pat that. I'm quite happy with that now. Okay, and now we're just going to set it with um, setting powder. So I'm using this by Bobbi Brown. It's the Golden Orange Sheer Finish, finished Press Powder. Um, it's really good for the under eye as well because it's got that yellow tinge to it, which really helps brighten up the whole area. 
I'm just going to go ahead and use the same sponge and set that concealer that we've just applied, all that product that we just applied. So this helps really lock in all the concealing that we've done. So that's how I normally do my concealing. So that's how I normally do my under eye concealing. It's very fast, super easy, and you only use basically um, these two products, one sponge and one brush, and that's it. So I hope you guys, uh, maybe you try it and give us feedback on if it works for you as well. And if you do have any feedback or comments, please do comment on the section below. And do let us know uh, what else you would like us to um, show or talk about. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.